I'm here to talk to you about the most serious issue facing our country. I'm here to talk to you about the situation in Iraq. And I want to start with this. I don't care how you feel about the war. I don't care how you feel about the president. I think the individual troops over there deserve our support. I hope you join me in a round of applause. I can't believe I have to give a disclaimer before asking for a round of applause for the troops. But the, but, but the political situation in our country, ladies and gentlemen, has become so divisive. I experienced that divisiveness firsthand when I moved from liberal Seattle to conservative Eastern Washington with a bumper sticker on my car, I, I brought it here to show you tonight. The bumper sticker said, bring the troops home. Not a big deal in Seattle, right? But after getting my ass kicked multiple times outside of Barnaby's Pub in Walla Walla, Washington, I decided I needed to do something different to fit in, right? So I traded in that bumper sticker. I got a new bumper sticker that said, leave the troops there. <laughs> that, that one didn't work either. So then I went for something neutral. I got a bumper sticker that said, I don't know about the truth. <laughs> I'm selling these after the show. They're <laughs> on my website, standupeconomist.com. And can I just say that this set is going much better than when I did it last week in Texas? <laughs> no, because when I did this set last week in Texas, this great big dude jumps up in the back. And he glared at me and he was like, that is the most offensive bumper sticker I've ever seen. Well, I'm like the president, people. I don't back down. Even when I have to. So when this guy glared at me, I glared right back at him and I said, you think this is the most offensive bumper sticker you've ever seen? And I reached into my bag and I said, apparently you haven't seen this one. It says if the troops weren't all in Iraq, I'd shoot one myself. <laughs> now this, I said, this is an offensive bumper sticker. the bumper sticker companies on the internet refuse to print it out for me. I had to get them handmade in New Jersey. <laughs> this guy in Texas, ladies and gentlemen, you should have seen the look on his face. I mean, I knew that I had won the argument about which was the more offensive bumper sticker. What I didn't know was that he was going to be an incredibly sore loser. Apparently what I thought of as my rights under the First Amendment were in conflict with what he thought of as his rights under the Second Amendment. <laughs> well, like I said, people, I don't back down. I'm like the president. So when this guy glared at me again and asked me if I was selling these bumper stickers too, I said, bring it on. How many would you like to buy? <laughs> And he jumped up on the stage and he ripped a bumper sticker out of my hand. He got right up in my face. He said, I would never buy that bumper sticker and put it on my car. And I said, you dumbass. You're not supposed to put it on your own car. <laughs> no, the instructions are right on the back. Step one, locate Hummer. <laughs> starting to doubt my patriotism. So let me be clear about my point. If you're driving a Humvee around Baghdad, I want to thank you for the sacrifices that you're making for our country. If you're driving a Humvee around Brooklyn, I want to put my foot up your ass. I totally support the troops. I have extra respect for the military because I'd be such a terrible fit for the military. I mean, look at my arms. <laughs> I'm like human veal. <laughs> if, I got, if I got sent to boot camp, I'd be afraid the drill sergeant would tell me to drop and give him five push-ups. <laughs> I don't want to do five push-ups. I can't remember the last time I ran a mile. I only have one thing going for me as far as the military is concerned. I am not 
openly homosexual. <laughs> but if they reinstate the draft, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to change. <laughs> it is going to change in a snap. <laughs> Draft gay is going to be the new Canada. <laughs> hey, Randy, you're on down. You guys are awesome.